With a poor weather forecast and on new terrain for the first time, day three of the 2017 FIM International Six Days of Enduro got underway with plenty of uncertainty, despite the predicted strength of the French team on the shorter grass specials. The latest route was a single day trip north for a tour of the host commune Valle de la Carrez, again over 200 kilometers with five special tests to separate the riders. Portugal successfully maintained their advantage over Great Britain on day three and with Sweden dropping further back, they're starting to look settled in fourth with a five minute gap behind. Diogo Ventura was beaten in the timesheets by a teammate for the first time after an underwhelming performance in the final two tests. Finland finished fourth in the day's standings to remain third overall, but their times were the closest they have been to the leaders all week. Matti Sestela continues to grow as the week goes on, and the team's two rising stars both finished within a minute of their more experienced former trophy-winning teammates. Daniel Milner again led Australia's world trophy team and remains fifth overall, but the gap between the two lead teams passed the five-minute mark for the first time at the week's halfway stage. Daniel Sanders enjoyed his best result of the competition so far, recovering from a disappointing first day and now fourth in E3, but each of Australia's representatives only able to outpace one of the French riders. An error in the first test from Christophe Nambertin enabled two of his teammates to finish above him in the timesheets as France burst further clear at the top of the World Trophy standings. Jeremy Tarou got the day off to a perfect start for the home team with his first special win and he was only second in the day's standings to teammate Loic Larrieux. It's been a great day overall for the French team. We expected a lot from this day on the fresh grass. We all started at the front, which wasn't necessarily an advantage today because the grass in the specials was slippery. But if we're first away, that means we're top of the standing, so that's a good thing. Italy continued to recover from a day one penalty and finishing fourth fastest on the day moves them above the Netherlands and into seventh. Realistically though, fourth position and Portugal will be their target, the top three having broken nine minutes clear of the chasing pack, with France increasingly dominant in front. Three junior World Trophy contenders came into the third day separated by just over 15 seconds. The category once again proving the least settled with another change of leader. After their excellent recovery performance last time out, the USA finished just fifth on day three, Josh Toth accruing a frustrating one-minute penalty for passing the third time check too early. The day's result leaves the Americans third overall. Italy took advantage to move second, but actually dropped further back from the lead. Again, their three riders were evenly matched, but in a junior trophy where mere seconds are defining the key positions, they need standout performances to make up ground. France finished top of the day's standings for the first time this week, 27 seconds clear of Italy on this occasion, and therefore almost 40 seconds up overall. Their consistency has now made them the team to beat, but realistically, all of the top three teams remain in contention. We've climbed quite well in the standings. For the moment, we're being pretty careful. We're comfortable on the grass, so we aren't too close to the limit. And so I think the coming days will be good. Great Britain put in their best day of the junior trophy so far with a third place on the day that moves them above Chile. But they drop further back from the lead positions as a gap continues to emerge behind the top three. The USA made up a minute from fourth to lead after day two and now need to do the same again from two minutes down. The women's World Trophy rankings remain unchanged, a clear pecking order established with Spain's day two disaster. The USA remains second in no small part thanks to Rebecca Sheets, recovering from a disappointing opening day with two successive counting rides consistent support to the successful Brandy Richards. But with another half minute taken out over the USA, Australia remain favourites with a near six minute advantage overall. 
Tyler Jones again finished second fastest in the individual to Laia Sanz, while her teammate Gemma Wilson had a tougher day, receiving a two-minute penalty at the second time check. Uh, yeah, I know that I'm I'm there for a purpose if something does happen to Taylor or Des, but at this point, yeah, they're killing it. Especially, you know, Taylor up against Leia is pretty great and Jess riding so well with Broken Finger is pretty amazing. So, yeah, I'm really stoked to be a part of this team. They're wonderful. Italy finish above Sweden in the day standings for the first time but remain almost eight minutes behind their nearest rivals while the spread of the top three teams gradually extends as the week rolls on. The Women's World Trophy looks beyond the reach of France but the two remaining categories are now led by the host nation in the 2017 FIM International Six Days of Enduro. <laughs>